Of course, uh, John Kasich will be there. John Kasich, who, you know, well, you know, we're going to talk about the, the, the Lincoln Project when we get back on the other side of things, because, um, I, you know, I, I got a good uh, little riff on the Lincoln Project and like just sort of like uh, bringing Republicans into this. I, I'm sorry. I, you know, I know what people are saying that, well, they they really um, they really bring other people into it. Now, maybe John Kasich might. But I mean, John Kasich doesn't have any energy that uh, Joe Biden doesn't have. Let's do this thing on the um, forget. It. Let's just do this thing on the Lincoln Project, because here's my point. Here, like first, here's one of the problems with the Lincoln Project. All right, put up the um, put up this uh, this this tweet because people are saying that like, look, they're important, and and I my my argument is like, look, I don't if they want to pay for ads against Donald Trump, fine, whatever. But make no mistake about what the Lincoln Project's project is. The Lincoln Project's project, yes, they want to defeat Donald Trump, but the Lincoln Project's project is to make people in the Democratic Party accept them and Republicanism, um, Republicanism as a uh, as 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 something that is not directly responsible for Trump and not ideologically consistent with Trump. Here's an example where they let their, uh, you know, they, uh, the, the, the mask, you know, slipped for a moment. And just put that back up. Um, somebody says, so UPS, FedEx, big opportunity here. Just offer to deliver any election ballot for free. Honor the postage on it and get it there by election day. You'll be overnight become the most beloved and respected organization in America. Go on. It's the right thing to do. Yeah, no, simple. That is not the answer. And in the Lincoln Project says, I second that emotion, right? And it's just sort of clever. I don't want to make too much of it. But basically what it is, it's like, of course they do. Because they, when they were just Republicans, not never Trump Republicans, but when they were just Republicans, were all behind the idea of privatizing the post office. They want to destroy that universal service because it is one of the most successful examples of why government is necessary and how it serves everyone in a universal manner. Now, people say, but, but they're going to convince Republicans to vote for... Here's how you know that's BS. Put up the, uh, the other tweet that I sent you. Two examples. I want you to ask yourself, who is the audience for this? Put up the... Do you have the other tweet? The one that I sent, which is it on there? What number? I, I sent it in. I sent it in the. Um, no, I sent you the other tweet. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, the uh, number ten. This is this gives you a sense of of who they. Um, oh wait, that's not it. That's not the tweet that I sent you. It's the one where they take it from uh, the DSA. It's one that they take from the DSA. I can look for that too. I'm going to share your screen, Brendan. Oh, you got it. There you go. Here it is. Okay. DSA tweets out the ruling class gets rapid COVID tests so they can have parties while working class are at risk every day and wait up to two weeks to get test results. This is class warfare. Lincoln Project steals the tweet. Now, I know there's another issue with them stealing tweets because they want to build their brand. But what Republican do you think they are speaking to when they talk about the ruling class, when they give that exact DSA tweet? What Republican are they, the Lincoln Project, who are they speaking to? No, they're speaking to the left. Play this ad from the Lincoln Project. Let me tell you something. I learned this when I went in to pitch an animated movie years, maybe 15, 20 years ago, maybe more, 20, 20 some odd years ago. Why they put voices of actors that you recognize that are cool in animated movies. The kids don't care. The kids don't care about 
Jack Black's voice. You know, like the, my son doesn't have a cl- clue about that. That is for the parents. That's the way that they talk to the audience they know is really in control, who brings the kids to the movie. Because if the parents leave the movie and go, it was, it was horrible. Nobody's going to bring their kid there. But if they hear somebody that they like, one of their favorite actors or someone who's really funny, they're like, yeah, it was engaging. That's just the way it works. Play this ad. I am starting to regret my vote for Trump. I know. You guys, I know. I can overlook and I'm okay with the blatant racism and the crass sexism and the deranged narcissism and pandering to Nazis and supporting pedophiles and proudly bragging about being a sexual predator and openly cheating your employees and mocking the disabled and praising murderous dictators and the constant pathological lying, the petty vindictive cruelty, the staggering ineptitude. Okay. All right. you don't need to do I mean, I like that ad. It's David Cross is uh, doing a comedy routine. How many Republicans are going to be like, oh, David Cross is really handing it to the president? That (laughs) ad is not for Republicans. That ad is to ingratiate the Lincoln Project with the left. If If they are supposedly the ones who are getting the John Kasich Republicans. I'm sorry. There's no John Kasich Republicans or never Trumpers, or there's no votes for them to get by using David Cross's voice. That is there to build their brand with the left. When I, when I tweeted out about that, um, about the, about the uh, post office thing, somebody responded back like, I don't think these people are so calculating as to try and get on the inside. They just want to beat Trump. I'm sorry. This is a group of, forget Republican, just political strategists. And if you don't think that the, all they do is calculate, <laughs> that, is, that is what, like, that's the oxygen they breathe is calculation. They know exactly what they're doing. In fact, there's probably no cohort of people in the country who have a better sense of of being exactly conscious of every decision they're making in terms of who they're trying to appeal to. So that's what the Lincoln Project is. They are selling themselves to the left, to the center left. Why are they doing that? Why are they doing that? They're not getting, I mean, maybe, maybe they're putting out some ads somewhere that are getting maybe some Republicans, maybe. And definitely their project is to get rid of Trump at this point. They have no choice. They're on the other side. They just got caught on the other side. You know, Glenn Beck, he made the transition back because nobody cares about what he says. Glenn Beck doesn't have friends that will be like, you really going to work for Donald Trump? So Glenn Beck was able to transition back. Eric Erickson was able to transition back. All the sort of lower end hacks were able to transition back to being pro-Trump. The oat hacks, they've got to just basically insinuate themselves within the left and build their credibility so that they can go on whatever it is, MSNBC or CNN or anywhere else and be like, oh yeah, that guy, they're they're pretty good. So the problem is, is that they're not just going to attack Trump. They're going to turn around at one point, they're going to start advocating policies that are going to have the patina of being never Trump the patina of being anti-Republican, but in fact, they're going to be just full-on Republican. That's the way they're going to do it. They're going to hit the ground running. The day Donald Trump is over, they're going to be hitting the ground running.